décima ponte. Israel. I think uh, Avi, I think Poland, because he always goes to Poland. Israel, okay. How's the school going? Slowly, but good. It's what? Slowly, but Okay, nice. Are you like the jiu-jitsu master there? Nice. Alright guys, let's go back and forth with it. The motherfucking saga continues. Going down, man. You just got to know man. Just got, uh, just got done training, working with Ashley Cummins. A little amateur female fighter, pretty badass. Nice, where does she fight? She's from St. Louis. She's out here visiting her mom and sister. So she thought uh, she'd get a couple rubber guard sessions in. That's over there. Ashley, say hi to the camera. Ashley's mom, Ashley's sister, actress girl, <laughs> and fighter girl. Nice. Yeah, just a, another. Another typical day at Tenth Planet. Right on. So, hey, man, I got a question for you. What's okay, up? Um, yesterday when you were doing your seminar in Riverside, um, we had, you know the Brazilian guy that's been training here in the Gi? His name is uh, Renato. Renato. Yeah, Renato. Um, so, he kind of came in yesterday when you weren't here. He, um, I know we don't have like a uniform policy and stuff, but he was wearing his Gi. And at the end of class, um, I asked him if I could ask him a few questions, and he started telling me about how... Uh, you know, he's from Brazil, he has a traditional background, who he trained with, and um, he likes you, he seems to kind of respect you and stuff, but the question that I have for you is, um, what's this dude's deal, man? You know what, you could wear anything you want in class, you can come in with a pink tube top, it doesn't matter to me, some dolphin shorts, I don't care, you want to wear a gi, come and wear a gi, I think it's cool, man, you know, you don't... We don't have too many Brazilians coming through, and it's it's cool that you know. It seems like he has an open mind about everything. You know, all I'm trying to do is take jujitsu, do what I can, do my part to take jujitsu up a notch in MMA. That's all I'm trying to do. So, you know, if he wants to wear a gi, he can wear a gi. It's fine. I have no problem with him. Um, well, the other day when you guys were rolling, um, I noticed you tapped him, you know, four or five times pretty easily within a 20 minute period, and you know he seemed to be cool about that. But the question that that, that I had for him was, you know, wh why does that seem to be working if his opinion is actually that no, he does not work, um, that you need to come from a traditional gi background. So he said that it's because you wear gi pants, that you wear half of a gi, that it's not really no gi because you're still rocking gi pants. Oh, so he's saying I'm wearing half a gi? Yes. And if I wasn't wearing the gi, the gi pants, I wouldn't be... Uh... That you wouldn't be able to do it. Well, he's, he's sort of right, but do pants, do pants make a gi if I was wearing... Uh, jeans like Wrangler jeans would I be wearing is that a gi it's just I do wear pants that come from a gi set mm -hmm. but that, it's only because I have like 20 of them right I wear any pants you know I would wear tights you know I do wear tights every now and then I like um, the gi pants because they're baggy and it's harder to slip out of stuff but they work just as good as jeans or slacks if a guy's wearing slacks but he doesn't have a t-shirt or doesn't have 
uh, 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 suit top and a vest on. Is he wearing a suit? If he just has the pants, is he wearing a suit? Mm. The pants don't make the outfit. I don't think. Right on. Who knows? Yeah. Well, I actually, um, I made a weird parallel. I asked him if that kind of made you like a minotaur, like half man, half, half bull. Um, and then he got mad at me and yelled at me and said there's only one Minotauro and I think there's just a language barrier there. Yeah, he probably thought you were talking about... Uh, Nogueira? Nogueira, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, he showed a real world technique with the gi where he actually choked somebody with his gi belt. Um, of course, the, the belt was actually around his neck at the time. It wasn't around his waist. And I asked him if he wears a gi out in, in real life, if he thinks that that's an applicable thing. What is your opinion on, the, on that? Like, the gi applying to real life situations? A lot of people wear jackets, especially up north, the Pacific Northwest, and Montana, and Maine, and Ohio. The gi is very effective for um, st street situations. You can choke a motherfucker out with a t-shirt easily. You could be... I, I, we used to, back in, 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 at the Jean-Jacques Machado Academy back in the day, we, we would test the t-shirt. We would grapple with t-shirts and yank and pull them. And you'd be surprised at how hard it is to rip a t-shirt. Hmm. It's not that easy. And I got choked out from many different angles. I was mounting guys and still getting choked out. Like dudes were mounted, they just grab it like t-shirt and choke it. So the gi is very effective for, for uh, street type situations. But so is no gi. Like hmm. Tito Ortiz never wore a gi. But uh, maybe he has by now. I think he's tra training with Clever. Bad example. Let's say uh, Josh Barnett's never trained in the gi. I'm sure he's going to do fine on the streets. Mm. Frank Shamrock never trained in the gi. I don't want to fight him on the street. I'm sure he'll do fine on the streets with the gi or with, the, with a jacket, with a turtleneck sweater, or whatever the kids are wearing these days. Skinny jeans and shit. I'm going to start rolling with skinny jeans. Yeah, that's badass, man. <laughs> I used to wear skinny jeans back when I was 18 and 19, man. I would get black. All my jeans were black. I couldn't wear no blue jeans. They were black. And I'd always get them in to get, get them uh, hemmed in. So I'd be straight leg. And my, you know, if I couldn't barely just get my shoes in, then they were too loose. Did you have docking shirts and shit? I did not have a docking shirt, although I did have tooth and nail. I did buy the tooth and nail. Um, I was a fan of docking. Alone again. Uh, breaking the chains. Uh, uh, into the fire. Uh, I was into that shit. Right on. Cool. So you, you, you're cool with Hinata. You, you like I like Hinata. Hinata. He's, he's kind of weird. It seems like it seems like he. Uh, it seems like he's. I've heard things like maybe he's talked a little shit behind my back or whatever. But I don't care. As long as he's nice to my face, that's all that really matters. Well, on that tip, um, I just wanted to tell you something that happened. And I, obviously, you're like one of the nicest guys in jiu-jitsu and you know you're very hard to make upset. But yesterday, when he was here, he said that his goal was to. Um, not only change your mind about the gi, but also to literally steal your students and start his own school. No way. You got to be joking. I have it on video. No you think way. he's joking? I don't think he was. He, uh, he's trying to steal my students. I honestly don't think Hinato has a very good sense of humor. Yeah, I don't think he's trying to steal my students. I could see him trying to convince me that the gi does make your no-gi game tighter somehow. I believe that he could that he's trying to do that. Well, I'm having fun with it, you know? I have no problems with the gi. I have no problems with people training in the gi. All I'm trying to do is focus on MMA techniques. I'm trying to bring jujitsu back just a little bit. Doing it for MMA. You know, it used to be that if you were a gi champion in, um, in Brazilian jiu-jitsu, that it meant a lot coming into the UFC. Like, damn, that guy's gonna win. It used to mean that, but it doesn't mean that. Anymore. You know, and I, I want, uh, I want it to mean something. When someone comes in and comes into MMA with a black belt in jiu-jitsu, I want people to fear that. And have, I want people to know that, that there's a lot more you can do from the guard than just double wrist control guard. The basic stuff, all these black belts are playing. There's a lot of other things you can do. There's a lot of stuff that's going on with rubber guard. And you, know, you don't have to you know, get you know, be kept in a box with all these techniques. There's so many different techniques, so that's all I'm trying to do is just help jujitsu. I'm not trying to hurt it, I'm trying to help it. You know, so you're in fact very misunderstood because you actually love Brazilian jiu-jitsu and you yeah. wanna make it you wanna make it on top. I'm doing I'm doing all this for jujitsu. I'm losing all the money I can make on making people buy gis and having gi class I could have gi classes, no gi, I could have all that shit. I got my black belt in the gi. 
I don't care about that. The most important thing for me is making the best MMA jiu-jitsu possible. I don't even do MMA, but it's just a quest for me. I want it. I want the best nogi style. It's not all coming from me. I'm not making all this up. All my students are bringing in the best techniques from all these different styles. I got guys that that uh, study Jeff Glover. I got my Ryan Hall guys. I got my Mar Marcelo Garcia guys. I'm a Marcelo Garcia guy. Um, I'm trying to incorporate some of Jeff's techniques, his deep half, and Ryan Hall. I mean, it's kind of crazy. I, I hate leg locks and stuff. They're just they scare me to death. But I, you know, I gotta I gotta start messing with all that 50/50 stuff. You gotta be aware of everything that's out there. So, you know, I'm just the DJ putting it all together. I'm not writing all these songs. I'm just putting it together so that we have the maximum, uh, most high percentage finishes in a jiu-jitsu system for MMA. Nice. That's all it is. And whatever Hinata wants to do, you know, it's all good. He's cool with me. He's cool to my face. It's all good. He could come in with the gi. You know, I'll listen to his, his arguments of, you know, of how the gi somehow makes your no-gi game tighter. I mean, somehow... Yanking and pulling is supposed to make is better for your clinching and squeezing than clinching and squeezing. I don't know how that works, but um, you know, who knows? Maybe Hinato can convince me. Right on. Was he really talking shit then? I'm gonna let you watch the tape, but I'm gonna, gonna say I'm gonna say yes. Let me watch the tape. Cool. All right. Thanks, That's Eddie. Fine.